Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and we have a brand new knife company here. So, story goes, a few weeks ago, I had a meeting with Steven. You can see right here, Steven. And he uh, they have eight models all together, but they are brand new. They just started. Uh, they just happened to come out with eight you know designs right away you know um, i'm guessing they wanted to make sure that they had designs you know different designs and everything before really hitting the market so i talked to him we we did uh, a great uh we had a great conversation awesome guy and we um went through all their models and you know i picked out a few to check out now let's get into it so this is the Giant Mouse Ace Grand. The full review is coming very soon. I've been testing out this LMAX Steel. Let's check out that edge really quick. Oh, I got it messed up. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to show you this beautiful edge I put on it, but I guess I got stuff on it. Sorry, guys. Um, but the review is coming very soon. And I might do a little mod to it. All right, let's check out these Shielden Knives. Brand new knife company. So... All right, this one is, I don't remember the model. Oh yeah, right here, here we go. So this one is going to be the Django. Oh yeah, this was one of the ones I really wanted to check out. Oh, that's cool. So we got some carbon fiber that's actually got, can you see that those lines? I can feel every single one of them, kind of like a topical graph or topical uh, map. Oh, yeah, and it's got, like, these little dimples. That's cool. Okay, so this Damascus, because I know you guys can see this is Damascus, is a 9CR Damascus. So that's a good thing because we, we already know what's in the steel. Now, it would be bad if they just said Damascus. Just saying Damascus, that's not a steel. First flip. Nice. That was a nice detent. Nice detent. Oh, yeah. Very good detent. So, Damascus is not a steel. It is a process. Oh, I got it. Nice, nice. So, this is a 9CR Damascus. Now, I'm not sure if it's a powdered version. I did ask him. He wasn't positive. I'm going to talk to him more about it now that I have the knives. Because, um, and I'm not saying it has to be a powdered uh, 9CR Damascus. I just know that there's a Damascus going around that some of the companies are using that is very, very good quality, like what Civivi uses. And it's a powdered Damascus. And so it winds up being very similar to Damasteel. It's made the same way Damasteel is. So I'll say this, it does feel like it but that doesn't say much. I'll know pretty quickly once I get this on the stone and start sharpening it. The Django. The Tranchodon. Tranchodon. Okay, so not a deep carry clip. Not a big deal. A lot of people um, don't like deep carry clips. Listen to this detent. Very nice detent. Nice lockup, or at least it sounds like it. Let's check it. Nice and solid, very solid. Good ergos, it feels really good in the hand. Nice, very acute tip. Awesome, awesome. Okay, let's check out this next one. Very cool, man. Yeah, I like the sound of it too. Let me check the centering. Nice centering. Yep, nice centering. Um, these are steel liners, by the way. Steel liners. These are a really good price. Um, we talked about the pricing and everything. You know, I might as well use this knife to open up this one. So the prices are actually a really, really good price. Um, so that is going to be one thing that's going to be good for them. Hopefully they can uh, stick to these, uh, you know, really good prices. This next one is the, oh, I'm sorry. The designer was Django. Oh, I'm such an idiot. So let me go back here really quick. So the item name, the Tranchoadon, Tranchoadon. This one is the, the Empoleon, Empoleon. 
Okay, now this one's a slimmer knife. Okay, we got some G10 with some rock pattern in there. Another non-deep carry clip. Good tension. First flip. Nice detent. Good access to the lock bar. Nice and smooth. Ooh, yeah. This one's D2. Nice lock up. I can tell I need to put a little KPL heavy on the detent ball, which these things came from pretty far, so that's not a problem. Nice action, though. Um, good geometry. Nice, long, sleek blade. And I can tell this thing is going to break in extremely smooth. The flipper tab is uh, jimped. You could do the light switch or... The push button, that push button really kicks. Nice and slim. And the one good thing about not being a deep carry clip is that you don't feel it. You, I do not feel the clip at all. Now, this one is a little to the side. No, I don't really feel it. I thought I was going to feel this right here. If I really turn my hand, maybe, but... I mean, I guess maybe a tiny, tiny bit, but not enough for me to say I feel it. This one, I don't feel at all. So that is the one benefit to a non-deep carry clip. Let's get this next one. We'll use the last knife every time to open the next one. I got to remember the names of these guys. So let me keep these with the boxes. Put that one right there. This one over here. To be honest, guys, all of the knives I checked out, all eight of them were great designs. So I wanted to check them all out, to be honest. It was very difficult for me to pick the ones I wanted to check out. Looks like all of these are Django designs. This is the Barascuda. Barascuda. By the way, I'm going to link everything possible down in the description. You guys already know that. Good action. Ooh, I like that blade shape. Yeah, I remember picking this one. Oh man, that is, this one's so woo! This one's very smooth. Holy cow! Yeah, that's nice. Now, I'm not a big fan into carbon fiber inlays, especially the fake carbon fiber. However, for the price, this thing is pretty cool, man. It is a stainless steel frame lock, and I think D2 steel, or this one. I thought this one, yeah, D2 steel. We have a coating, nice durable tip while still being nice and acute. Nice long blade too, nice and comfortable in the hand. Um, I'm not sure how this clip is going to be because it is on the lock bar. However, the you know, Steven is open to any type of criticism and, uh, you know, tips or got to hit my table tips or anything like that that can help him improve his knives and that is one thing i would say right off the bat is try to get the clip off of the lock bar because trying to get that i don't know i'm sure this one might be fine let me just try it really quick yeah it works just fine but you normally don't want the clip ever to be on the lock bar it winds up creating tension in this case it's fine i mean this action is amazing but a lot of times it does do that it can create too much tension on the detent because it's pushing on there and then also it can be difficult to get it in and out of the pocket we do have milling oh yeah i can see actually there's a I can see the carbon fiber. So there's an actual cutout all the way through right here. No wonder why it's so light. Let's get to this next one. Great action on this one. They all have good action. They definitely tune the detents really nicely on these. Man, I almost wish I would have got all eight of them. <laughs> because I kind of want to check out. There was The designs are awesome. Like I said, there were so many. <clears throat> okay, okay. All right, yeah, look at that one. Oh, what was the name of this one? I'm sure it'll, where's the box? This one is the, oh, here's the box. The Charcos. First flip. Okay. 
we got some more of the green carbon fiber G10 mix. Very, very nice. I actually like this stuff. This stuff feels really good. Oh, that thing is so comfortable. This is the most comfortable so far. I thought this one was going to be. Oh, it's tough. <laughs> it's tough. Oh, that is tough. Oh man, they're both so comfortable. I think this one, pot, yeah, I think this one's a little bit more comfortable. It also has the 9CR Damascus, and we have thumb studs. Ooh, good thumb stud action. Very, very smooth on the drop. Reverse flick. Nice. This is a larger knife. Let's look at it next to the, the uh, Barrascuda, or is the other one? The, yeah, the Barrascuda. Oh, trench down. Oh, man. Okay, so now I'm getting them confused. Okay, so this one's the Charcos. This one is the, um, the trench down. Sorry. Got them mixed up for a second. I do like these liners. Um, it has the jimping on there, but they're nice and comfortable to disengage. Like, I, I have good access. The detent is nice and early so I can get it past the detent. Let's check this one. Same thing on this one. I do like having the reverse flick. The detent is nice and strong, but still very nice for, what am I gonna do a thumb flick? You can, but it's a little tough because the, the fuller is smooth. But for the reverse flick, especially if you get it down low, it's pretty easy. Some people might find it a little tough because the detent is solid on this thing. Very solid. But I mean that in a good way. Like, I, I'm happy with it. This flipper tap kicks. I don't know which one's my favorite, guys. It's definitely between these two right now. I'm thinking this one. But this one's just so comfortable. So, like I said, guys, I will. Yeah, I think it's this one. Um, I don't know though. Well, after testing them, I'll really know because this one has the thumb studs. Um, I. So, like I said, I'm gonna link these below. Um, I'm gonna link the website so you guys can check out the other four models that are available. These are very affordable, very good priced. Let me get the other two out. So this one is the, the Empoleon, and then this one is the Barrascuda. The Barrascuda is whew, very, very smooth. So, you know, I don't mind big knives. So uh, this one so far is my favorite, but, you know, I haven't tested them or anything like that. Plunge grind seems okay on that one. This one, uh it's hard to say. It's kind of one of those hidden ones. This one seems okay. This one's good. Um, so yeah, there you guys go. New knife company. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. I'm sure Steven will be reading the comments. So let us know your thoughts. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Man, listen to that acoustic. Listen to that sound. Doesn't that sound so good? It sounds really nice. All right, guys. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.